how do you take your elevations from this to this? That's what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. My name is Christian from Architect CIA. Let's begin. This is the default elevation view in Archicad, so let's build on this. First step, I'll give everything a solid cover feel. Right click and go to elevation settings. Under model appearance, go to uncut elements and I'll change the uncut feel to uniform pen, color feel, non-shaded. Click OK, let's see what we get. Good. Next, I'll give all the lines a uniform pen color. Go back to elevation settings. Under uncut elements, check the box for uniform uncut pens. I'll use pen 81.18 mm. Let's click OK again, see what we get. Great. Next, let's turn on some shadows to create some kind of depth in our view. Go back to elevation settings. Go down to shadow and check the box. I'm going to use solid fill 50%. I'll change the background fill pen to pen 81.18 mm. Uncheck transparency. Click OK again. Let's see what we get. Already looking good, right? But there's still a lot we can do. Next, I'll use a fill to cover everything below ground level. Select the fill tool. Under fill category, I'll make sure drafting fill is selected. I'll change the fill type to cut stone. I'll use 107 for the fill pen and the contour pen also 107. Pick a suitable starting point anywhere and place the fill like this. Next, I'll add the background to give some kind of context to the view. I got these images from a simple Google search and a little work in Photoshop to reduce the opacity. If you want these very images, let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure it's sent to you. So I'll just open the folder I placed the background and just drag and drop in Aki card and adjust the size. Good. Next, I'll use a graphic override combination to change the line width of different elements in the view. First, I'll give the grids, dimensions, and labels the same pen color. Let's go to Documents, Graphic Overrides, Graphic Override Combinations. I'll click New to create a new combination, and I'll name it Elevation. On the right, click Add. Scroll down to Create New Rule. And I'll name this row annotations. Next to annotations, click on these three dots to edit row. I'll make the first criteria dimensions. Next, we add two more criteria, both element type. I'll select label for the first one and grid elements for the second one. Under our right star, Let's check the box for line, marker, text pen, and I'll use pen 20. Click OK and OK again. Cool. Now the annotations, the grid lines, and the labels all have the same line widths. So let's go back to graphic override combinations and let's create a new rule for walls, slabs, columns, and beams. Edit rule again. Let's add three more element type criteria. I'll make the first one wall. Make the second one column. Make the third one beam. And make the fourth one slab. Under our right star, again I'll check the box for line, marker, text pen. This time I'll use pen 7.35 mm. Click OK and OK again. Now if you zoom closer, you can see that the walls have a different pen width from the windows and the doors, which is exactly what I want. Cool. 
Now the elevation looks a whole lot better. We can create a new rule for the line width of the roofs if you choose to. I'll just leave mine like this. You can also check out the different shading styles available to see which one is best for you or the project you're currently working on. Also, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so anytime I post a video, you'll be notified. If you want to learn about layers and layer combinations or if you want more Akika tutorial like this, please click the video on your screen. See you in the next one.